to them now. キックボクシングの黄金時代ではさまざまな最上級選手らが最強を求め戦いを行っていたがその中で大国最強の王者ウワカー・バンチャーメイクとカリスマの王ヒロ・ヤスヒロが唯一最後の2人で残った黄金世代最後の2人が揃いラジャダムランスタジアムの舞台で戦いが行われる。木戸康弘ですキックボクシングの団体 MA キックボクシングを一番最初にチャンピオンになってでその後は k 1ワールドマックス2008日本王者日本の中では野球サッカーでものすごい人気なスポーツなんですけどこの2つに k 1が乗っかったぐらいな状態でしたねでもどの会場行っても k 1の会場行ってもやっぱ1万人1万5千人がもうパンパンにお客さんが入るぐらい盛り上がってたしやっぱそこに名前がポンと出てくるのをまず一発目にバーカウ選手が出てくるんじゃないですかねまず一言で言うのは化け物半端じゃないとんでもない人間だなって思った身体能力も半端じゃないし動き技術もうちょっとレベルが違うなと思いましたね誰がこの男に勝てるんだっていうぐらい本当にもう化け物モンスターもうなんか立てる言葉はないぐらいすごい強かったし、まあ、しかも当時の自分はまだ全然同い年にいながらこんな化け物いるんだと思ってたしでも僕の前世は今なんでそこに差がすごいでかくあるかな僕は本当にスピードも落ちてないしテクニックは当たり前ですけど上がるしスピードのパワーも落ちてないんで、はい、変わらず来てるんで僕の方が分があると思ってますパワーバカオ選手スピードバカオテクニックバカオスタミナバカオ俺勝てないよ<笑>俺勝てないですよね<笑>違うわ俺<笑> k 1マックス昔のその k 1マックスの多分本当に最後の生き残り2人だと思ってて今なり現役でやってる中でその中で本当にやっぱ最後に残った人間2人の多分その今現役でやってる中で、まあ、昔マックスで出てた人間多分ゼロではないと思うんだけど、まあ、この2人で前回そのアンプルケア選手がそのドローになってるって言ったところもそうだしこれで勝てば多分自分より強いキックボクサーの40代はいないって世界でも僕し言えるかなと判定にはしたくないですね勝っても負けても KO で盛り上がる試合をしたいですねまあもうもちろん勝,勝ちにいきますけど。Here and here and and ladies and gentlemen, yes, we are. The superstar from Japan, Yasuhiro Kido. He says he is at his prime. And if there was any time he is going to beat the living legend, Waka Banchamek, it is now and it is tonight. Two fighters that have never faced each other. We're in the same tournaments, in the same era. Here, look at Kido, so confident. 
with millions of fans all over the world. Millions of Japanese fans watching at home on the zone. Is tonight gonna be his night or not? This is Yasuhiro Kido. Ladies and gentlemen, Mortal Manchama! For 20 years, this man has been the face of the sport of Muay Thai. The man who put Muay Thai on the map. The man who went to Japan and became a two-time K1 champion. One of the most recognizable sports persons in the world. Bokao Banchamek is about to take the ring here at Rajadam Nern Stadium. Watch, because it's not gonna be forever. Bokao has arrived. Everyone has their phone out, filming the legend, the son of Sarin, the White Lotus, Burkow. His first fight in 2003, ironically, was in Japan earlier this year, and he hasn't fought since. Last year, he took to the Rajadam Nutland Stadium ring three times, taking on Gotamura, winning by knockout, taking on Yoshihiro Sato, winning by knockout, and also taking on Yafimenko from the Ukraine. Undefeated in his last nine fights. Still active, still in great shape. Let's have a look at the tail of the tape. There you can see Borkao Banchamek. 
41 years of old age now stands at 178 centimeters with a reach of 178 pounds born in Surin, thailand he has a professional record of 240 fights with 24 losses and 12 draws fighting out of his own gym the banchamek gym two-time k1 world champion fighting at rajnam stadium for the very first time this year and in the blue corner we have yoshihiro kido 40 year old from japan stands at 186 centimeters fighting out of odawara japan 55 wins 25 losses and two draws 2008 k1 world match japan tournament winner Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. The man event of the event! And the US legend of Russian Amman, live at the boat first Muay Thai Stadium, Russian Amman Stadium. Are you ready? What is brought to you by M. Roy Hasim and introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Satra Supasai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the blue corner, 40 years of age. He stands 186 centimeters tall and weighed 160.9 pounds. He for a record of 55 wins, 25 losses and 2 draw. He is former Crush Super Veteran Champion and 2008 K1 World Max Japan Tournament winner representing Odawara Japan! Let's hear it for Yatsuhiro Kino! Fighting about the Red Connor, 41 years of age. He stands with an and 78 centimeters tall and fed in with an and 61 pounds. He for a record of 240 wins, 24 losses, and two draw. He is two time K1 World Match Champion representing Surin Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Wotan Fun! Thousands of people packed into Rajdamnon Stadium. Many for this very fight. You put Guokao's name on the fight card and you get a full house. It's that simple. Kickboxing rules. Guokao Banchamet in the red corner from Thailand. And in the blue corner from Japan, Yasuhiro Kido. Yes, so here I mentioned, he said he is at the peak of his career. If there's any time that he can beat Borkow, it is this time. Yeah, well, Borkow was uh, making his entrance through the ring. Yasuhiro Kido was actually getting in some practice. Smart. Yeah. He was, he was. Again, kickboxing rules, there is no white rules, so sometimes the fighter can be a little bit tense as they get onto the ring. So it is always good to get those few minutes to relax a little bit before the fight actually starts. And here we go. As you can expect, Kido will be light on his feet, moving around, and Buaka will be pushing forward. Remember earlier tonight, we saw three Japanese fighters take to the Rajadam Nun Stadium. Ooh. Oh, spinning back fist there, attempted by Kido. There will be no open scoring as this is kickboxing as well. Oh, ho, ho. a low kick, and Buakau says, oh. I did not enjoy this. Right to the bunch of mix. <laughs> well, he's going to get a few minutes to recover. Obviously, that was not intentional. 
Ooh, Workhouse says. All right. The bench and X are better. It seems like he's okay. <laughs> so we will yes, continue. Uhura. He's yes, human Uhura after all. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, we're here paying respect. Apologizing. Beautiful front kick here. As expected, like I said, Boakau pushing forward. Ooh, good low kick again. And then moving around right away. Yeah, when and they came together, you pointed out that Kido is much taller than Boakau with a longer reach. And, uh, oh, Boakau not happy with the fact that Kido is running around the ring. Good right hand there from Boakau. Yeah, in the pre-fight interview, Boakau said it. I hope you do not run around so much. I do not want to be chasing you. But this is exactly what Kido is supposed to be doing if he wants to have a chance at beating Boakau tonight. Good knee there to the midsection by Boakau. Swinging left and right, hands coming in. Oh. Kick there by Kido, but Boakau threw a right hook. Oh. And a knee to the head. A little bit messy from both fighters, if you ask me. Not as clean as you would expect. The ref not separating the clinch somehow. Oh, oh -ho! left high kick there, acknowledged by Boakau. Kido looks like he's enjoying it. And again! And again! Attempted, or should I say fainted to go low, but went up high instead. Spinning back fist by Kido. Yeah, and straight in Boakau. Absolutely, in this and, and Kido mentioned it before. He said Boakau is not as powerful and is not as fast as he used to be. And this is why speed, footwork might be the key point for Kido to get the victory tonight. But power, we know Boakau. Good oh. the midsection <laughs> by Boakau. Kido says bring it. 45 seconds left on the clock. Beautiful tip there yeah, by Boakau. Perfectly timed front kick from Boakau. Oh, another right, a right shot to the body there from Boakau, trying to back up Kido into the corner so he can't move. Oh. He's an uppercut from Boakau. Yeah, good hooks. From, oh, good from right Kido. hand. Oh, oh right two. Left. Uppercut, right hand, and I think that's it. Body shot, right hand, left and right's coming and in. He's hurt. He's and hurt. Boakau. Kido can, is hurt. Can he get the finish? Kido wants to say I'm fine, but clearly he's not. One, two, three, four. Boakau, though, he needs to look at his energy. You don't want to be wasting any of it. Smile on his face from Kiddo. I'm not sure how. He's almost down there from that flurry from Buakau, but wow. he makes it to the end of wow. the round. And to be honest, without this fury towards the end of the round, Buakau could have lost the very first round. Absolutely, those high kicks were on point yep. by Kiddo. But Buakau able to corner Kiddo and throw those combinations. Oh. Let's have a look, there's beautiful right hand from Buakau, left hook and good right knees coming in. Oh, a little bit low that time. Yeah, that was perfectly timed. Compared to with two minute breaks, so this is going to be... All right, here we go, round two again, no open scoring here. In RWS, as this is a kickboxing match, Buakau pushing forward as expected. Yoshihiro Kido moving around. Yeah, good left jab there by Kido. He doesn't want to get cornered. Oh, oh. left high kick there from Buakau. Oh, good oh. right hand as Kido was moving back. There's that stiff left hand again. Oh. Another right hand from Buakau. Kido continuing to move around the ring. Yeah, and Kido said Buakau has lost his power, but clearly he hasn't yet. Oh, another good knee there from Boakau! Yeah. Oh, and a low blow! Oh, and a low blow. And a low blow. The referee calls timeout. Yeah, absolutely. And Kido is going to take as much time as he needs because he is obviously getting a little bit fatigued there. But again, you, you might have to blame it on the ref as, you know, they're working in the clinch way too much, in my personal opinion, Aaron. Yeah, I've got to uh, agree with you there. The referee is being very lenient with Buakau. Should be no clinching, of course, in the sport of kickboxing. But Kiddo's back to his feet. It's one and one now for low blows. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. But about two, min two minutes remaining on the clock. This is going to be interesting. How is Kiddo going to... Well, it looks like he's okay. Bouncing on the balls of his feet. Good low kicks there by Kiddo. Buakau not blocking them. Oh, right shot to the body from Buakau. Good knee from Kiddo. Buakau swinging with that right hand. Yeah, he is a little bit messy there from both sides. Oh, fighters. left jab there from Kiddo. But as expected, Buakau pushing forward, and we know he's going to be stronger and stronger, going faster and faster towards the round. Low kick from Kiddo. Good boxing acumen there from Buakau, and again looking for that knee to the body after a flurry of punches. Yeah, Kiddo looking very passive now. 
not really throwing anything. Do you like that left jab though that he keeps throwing? Good low kick. Oh, but Boakau here again. Yeah, and this is this is the the Boakau's power, pushing forward, making you tired within the clinch, and just forcing you to actually fight. Low kick there by Akido. Good left jab, right hand, another left hook to the body. Here comes Boakau once again. Good left knee. Muay Thai takedown obviously should not be allowed. Yeah, Kido not really fighting back as well. Oh! oh! There's that left kick again by Kido. Fakes to go low, goes up high and connects to Buakau. Second time he's thrown that and second time it has landed in this fight. Here comes Buakau back into the corner again. Oh, there's that left knee once again to the midsection of Kido. Borkow bites down on his gum shield, moves across the ring. Left Ooh. kick there by Borkow. A rare kick from Borkow. Kiel says nothing doing, good left knee there by Borkow once again. A straighted figure though, Borkow. Yeah. I really thought at the end of that first round he could have finished Kiddo and he didn't. Good left knee once again there by Borkow. And Kiddo looking out of solutions he is. right now. Not really landing any punch. Oh. oh, and here we go. Beautiful one-two there, momentarily. But again, Borkow in the clinch. End of <laughs> round number two. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, a lot of work in the clinch. An exhausted Borkow goes back to his corner. Remember, both these boys over 40 years of age. Let's have a look at the highlights. Snapping oh. left jab there from Kido throughout the entire second round. But there, the oh. left high kick, Buakau took it, but it, surely it hurt. Packed house, a beautiful sight here at Ratchdam Nurn Stadium. We thank you for joining us around the world on the zone. We've still got a lot of action in the upcoming weeks before the finals. Round number three. Bokal moves straight over towards Akido. Tented right high kick there by Akido. Swinging right hand and a left knee by Bokal. Heel kicks to the back of the body from Akido. That's a new one. <laughs> Even bemused Bokal. Bokal pushing forward. Left knee to the body after a right hand. Oh, clash of heads. Oh, no. I didn't even see, that didn't even look that bad, but yeah, it's a, it was just a clash of heads. That's unfortunate for Kido. The referee's gonna have a strong look at that. It opened so quick and yeah, so deep, so quick. We had to call a halt to the contest via Dr. Stoppage. The booker wants to have a look at it. But yeah, it opened so fast, that's very unusual for a cut. It must have been ridiculously deep. The only thing I can think of that it reopened an existing wound. Because it didn't even look like it was a bad clash of heads, to be honest. I'm sure we've seen a lot worse. Unfortunately, I'm not sure. He's saying that it was a headbutt. Don't worry, we will get a replay. It's unfortunate that it has to stop like this. We'll get the official confirmation by Mr. Beer, of course, however they're going to score this or not, but let's see if we can find out where that headbutt did occur. Oh, you see, they both moved in and caught heads at exactly the same time. Oh, it was a bad clash of heads. Oh, and the blood just started to, oh my goodness. Straight away, spurting out like a fountain.
Ladies and gentlemen, by way of accidental, Dr. Stoppage. All the judges have declared this vote no contest. It's a draw, ladies and gentlemen. การตัดสินระบุให้มวยคู่นี้ครับไม่มีผลการตัดสินครับทำให้เสมอกันทั้งคู่ครับอะไรคิดอ if you could give me a few seconds here uh, over here คิดอ Obviously, you might be very disappointed with the decision. How are you feeling right now? Um, my head has blown out just now. Of course, the very first round, you started off very strong and looked really good. But in the second round, Boakao came back a little bit stronger. How are you feeling towards the end of the second round? Um, as expected, uh, Bokao has a lot of powers as I expected, but um, it's nothing more than I um, nothing more than what I thought. So I I, I thought it was no um okay. Ah, uh, can I get a plan? Sir, it's a Thai word. Sir, it's a Thai word. Sir, it's a Thai word. Sir, it's a Thai พูดแปลกันง่ายๆเลยก็คือไม่เท่าไหร่สําหรับพลังของพี่บัวขาวในวันนี้ครับเพราะฉะนั้นแน่นอนครับผมต้องต้องขออนุญาตถามครับว่าแบบนี้จะมีโอกาสเจอกันอีกครั้งไหม Is there any chance that you guys gonna have another fight together? จะเข้ากันอีกครั้งไหมแต่ไปไปใช้ใช้ได้สุดครับเย่เย่ไม่ใช่ใช้ได้สุดแต่ยินดีกันซะจดต่อยินดีกันใช่ไหมเสียวจดต่อจดต่อ <laughs> well, I don't want to have to be a referee here, so, ladies and gentlemen, Kido! And of course, the living legend, I have to talk to you. Work how are you feeling right now, Tony? Rusuke Ngai Bang, Kapi Bokhao. Okay, Kap, Kap, Kun, Kap, Kun, Kap. อ่ะก่อนอื่นก็สวัสดีแฟนคลับแล้วก็นักทุกคนที่มาดูนะครับบุคคลมีเรื่องหนึ่งนะครับจะบอกนะครับมีเรื่องในใจจะบอกจริงๆแล้ววันนี้รู้ไหมครับว่าบัวขาวเกือบไม่ได้มาชกแล้วก็รู้ว่าทุกคนรอดูนะครับเมื่อห้าห้าวันที่แล้วบัวขาวเกิดอาการป่วยป่วยเลยไม่ได้มาแถลงข่าวนะครับเลยปล่อยให้คิโตะมาแถลงแถลงข่าวคนเดียวเพราะว่าบัวขาวรักษาตัวอยู่นะครับเพราะว่าเหตุเกิดฉุกเฉินมากโดยเกิดอุบัติเหตุกล้ามเนื้อนะครับกล้ามเนื้อเมื่อห้าวันที่แล้วกล้ามเนื้อกระตุกนะครับเลยไม่ได้มาแถลงข่าวก็เลยปรึกษาทางทีมงานว่าจะเอาอยัางไงดีจะยกเลิกในการชกครั้งนี้ก็ไม่ได้นะครับก็เลยลองรักษาดูเมื่อห้าวันที่แล้วทุกคนในทีมงานนะครับ RWS เดือดร้อนกันมากผมกับทีมงานผู้จัดการนะครับก็พยายามหาทางออกแล้วก็รักษาตัวจนได้มาต่อยวันนี้นะครับแล้วก็ขอโทษทุกคนที่วันนี้จริงๆแล้วอาวุธแข่งอาวุธเตะต้องออกเยอะแต่ว่าเนื่องจากขายืนไม่ได้นะครับตอนนี้ยังเก็บอยู
ที่กลัวครับเดี๋ยวผมขออนุญาตแปลแปลนะครับเพราะว่าคนทั้งโลกกำลังรับชมพวกเราอยู่ครับสมบูรณ์เก่า one to apologize because a few days ago he got injured pretty badly to his muscles and there was a question am I going to make it to the fight tonight or not but he did not want to disappoint he stands tonight and this is why he put on a performance tonight ครับแล้วสุดท้ายแน่นอนครับพี่บัวเจ็บขนาดนี้ทำไมถึงยืนอยู่ตรงนี้บนเวทีเวลาเชิญเดินครับเพราะเราเป็นคนสู้ไงเราใจสู้เราจนรักษาจนเมื่อคืนก็ยังตัดสินใจว่าเราจะเอาอยัางไงดีเราจะถอนหรือไม่ถอนในที่สุดใจสู้จนชกให้ทุกคนได้เห็นวันนี้ขอบขอโทษทุกคนที่วันนี้ได้เห็นการออกอุดบัวขาวน้อยลงเพราะว่าการเตะทวนาธรรมดาวันนี้เตรียมเตะอย่างเดียวโดยเต็มเตะอย่างเดียวเตรียมเตะศาสตร์แข่งทุกคนได้เห็นแต่วันนี้ไม่ได้เตะขอโทษแต่วันนี้ขอบคุณทุกคนที่มาเชียร์ครับขอบคุณครับ Of course, Borkow. Let me give a quick translation. Like I just said, it was a very tough fight for me tonight because of injuries. But I am here because I did not want to disappoint my fans. So thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. And again, give it up for Borkow, Bonchomo.